Bruchem Aboyim, thank you very much for coming. Again, we are in the Gematria series, and we're up to the number 37. Uh, so the number 37 in Ivrit in Hebrew is Lamed Zion. The number 37 is connected to one of the most important events in Jewish history, what we call the Akedas Yitzchak, the binding of the Yitzchak. Uh, this is where Abram Ravino took his son Yitzhak to bring him up as a sacrifice to God. There are many times that we mention uh, Yitzhak's self-sacrifice. It has become associated with our daily morning prayer. Even on the high holidays, we ask God to forgive us in the merit of our father Yitzhak, who was willing to give up his life for the glory of our Father in heaven. His merit is also mentioned in the Talmud and the Tractate of Shabbat. Yitzhak was, a, was a, actually 37 years old when he was bound on the altar by his father. And his father, Avram Avinu, was at the same time 137 years old at that time. In the first book of the Torah, in the portion of Chai Sarah, the portion begins with the words, by Yiyu, and these are the years of Sarah, which were 127. The word by Yiyu has the gematria numerical value of 37 alluding to the fact that the best years of her life, Sarah's life, were spent from the time that Yitzchak, her son, was born until her death 37 years later. Avramin was blessed to be able to spend an additional 37 years with his beloved son and died at the age of 175. The number 70, 37 also connects with the creation of the world. We are told by our rabbis that God created the world with ten traits that he has taken upon himself. Three of the traits are intellectual, what we call Chabad, Chachma, wisdom, Bina, understanding, and Dat, knowledge. There are additionally, there are seven emotional traits that God has taken upon himself. Six are masculine, one is feminine. They are Chesed, kindness, Gevura, severity, Tiferet, beauty, some say Emet, truth, Netzach, victory, hod, splendor, yisod, foundation, and the one feminine trait, a malchut, kingship. These ten traits are the foundation and the building blocks of creation. Again, three, broken up into three and seven. We know that the crown jewel of creation was man, who is also connected to the number 37. The normal body temperature of a person is 37 degrees centigrade. The name Kalev is mentioned 37 times in the Torah. The 37th time that the name Noach is mentioned in the first book of the Torah in the portion of Noach, in chapter 9, verse 24, is when Noach awoke from his drunkenness and realized that his young son, what he had done to him, and he cursed Ham's son Canaan, that he should be a slave to his brothers. The 37th time that the name Avraham is mentioned in the first book of the Torah in the portion of Vayera, 21.5, where it states that Avraham was 100 years old when his son Yitzchak was born. The 37th time the name Yitzchak is mentioned in the first book of the Torah is in the portion of Toldo, 26.12, where it states that he was able to reap 100 times more than he sowed, even in a famine. The 37th time the name Yosef is mentioned in the first book of the Torah is in the portion of Ayesha, 4012, where he interprets the dream of the butler. The 37th time the name Moshe is mentioned in the second book of the Torah, in the portion of Ayera, 62, where God speaks to Moshe and says, Ani Hashem, I am God. The 37th time the name Yerushalayim, Jerusalem, is mentioned in the Torah is in the book of Shmuel, 2. 1919, where King David reclaims his throne after his son Avshalom's rebellion. If you add up the gematria of the words in the first verse of the Torah, which deals with the creation of heaven and earth, Bereshit bara Elohim et Hashemayim ve'et ha'aretz, the gematria of that verse is 2,701. This number connects with 37 backwards and forwards meaning to say 37 times 73 equals 2,701. 37 is the gematria of the Hebrew word halev, 
the heart. And backwards, 73, is the numerical value of the Hebrew word chachma, wisdom. In order for a person to live a meaningful life, he must possess a wise heart, intellectual wisdom, and a compassionate heart. By using these two traits properly, we emulate our Creator. With that, we hopefully usher in the period of the Shia Sekenu. Again, you come quickly and in our time. I'd like to continue on with the number 38. Now, the number 38 in the Vrit in Hebrew is Lamed Chet. The number 38 is not found many times in the Torah, but I did find some references. We know that on Shabbat, there are 39 Av Malachot, major prohibited acts. Only one prohibition is actually mentioned in the Torah, which is the prohibition of fire. Being fired from Moshe Vosechem, it's no Sabar Oesh. You should not bring fire in your, your uh, dwelling places. The other 38 prohibited, prohibited acts were learn out from the construction of the Mishkan, of the tabernacle. Now the two topics are next to each other, and we know that though the Mishkan housed the Shekhinah, the divinity of God, it was a sign that God had forgiven the Jewish nation for the sin of the eagle, of the golden calf. Still, they were not allowed to desecrate the Shabbat to build the Mishkan. Our rabbis learned from this fact that they did not do any construction on the Shabbat, and that we too must refrain from these constructive acts on the Shabbat. In addition, even though the children of Israel were in the desert for 40 years as an atonement for the sin of the golden calf, in reality, their punishment was only for 38 years, since had they not sinned, they would have entered the land of Canaan, the land of Israel, in the second year after leaving Egypt. The 38th time that the name God, al is found in the Torah, it's in the book of the Torah in the portion of Bereshit 2.7 where it states that God formed man out of the dust of the ground and breathed into his nostril, the of Biapo, Ruach Hayim, the breath of life. The 38th time the name Abram, Avram, is found in the Torah, is in the first book in the portion of Lechlecha 15.2 where Abram, or Avram, questions God about his reward and states that he has no children, and that Eliezer, his servant, would be the one to inherit his household. The 38th time that the name Avraham, with a hey, is found in the Torah, is in the first book in the portion of Vayera, 21.7, where Sarah laughs. Uh, she says with laughter, who would even have suggested to Avraham that Sarah would be nursing children? But here I have given birth to a son in his old age. The 38th time that the name Yitzchak is mentioned in the Torah is in the first book in the portion of Toldot, 2617, where it states that, the, that during the famine, Yitzchak's fields were able to bruise Mea She'orim, 100 times more than he sowed. And because of his success, he incurred the jealousy of the populace, and he was forced to leave the area. The 38th time that the name Yaakov is mentioned in the Torah is in the first book of the Torah, the portion of Vayetze, 29.11, where Yaakov meets Rachel, Rachel, and kisses her, and then weeps out loud. The 38th time that the name Yosef is mentioned in the Torah is in the first book of the Torah, the portion of Vayesha, 40.16, where the baker, after hearing Yosef's interpret the butler's dream, decides to tell Yosef about his dream also, so that he can interpret it. Again, may God bless us in all that we do, so that we can reach the final destination, again, of Mashiach Sekenum, quickly and in our time. Again, thank you very much for coming. God bless and be well. Shabbat Shalom.